Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things fragrance and things that smell amazing. If you are new here, my name is Shanae. Thank you so much for watching. Today guys, I'm super excited to share with you my first opinion and thoughts on the by Killian's Black Phantom. So if you're interested in seeing what I think about this fragrance, just keep on watching. So guys, we're going to jump straight into it. The reason why I got this fragrance is because I received a sample from the House of Killian a while ago and I just never got around to actually purchasing it. But I went past the um, Saks store and they had it in stock so I went ahead and purchased it. So this is by Killian's Black Phantom. This particular bottle, I think it is just a 1.7 ounce. Yes, so it only comes in this size unless you're getting the bigger coffin. So that one comes in the bigger size for that one this fragrance is considered to be an oriental gourmand scent that came out in 2015 so this has been out for a little bit of time now the reason why or the inspiration behind this fragrance and this is coming from Killian is because he wanted to express the feeling of darkness and danger within love so he wanted to create a dark coffee scent filled with bitter almond and rum and it has the perfect take on a gourmand woody scent so that's what Killian said I'm reading what he said so that is how he wanted this scent to turn out first thing let's go over the appearance or the presentation of this fragrance so you do have just the sleek black bottle so I hope you can see that really really good and then in the front of it you have the gold plated um, which actually just says Black Phantom by Killian and then you have the gold top that has the K on it as well. One thing I do like about this fragrance is that it is very sleek and then also look at the sides of it. It has that intricate detail of it. This is something you can put on your vanity that's super sleek, that's super sexy. Actually, this is the only black bottle that I have in my entire collection. So when it comes to presentation, knocks it out of the park every time and I like that within Killian's line you can kind of see which bottle goes in each line because I have some that are white and then I have one that's kind of like that off-white pink which is the love don't be shy and then all of the other ones or I think the woody scents are the ones that come in the black bottle they have some that come in purple um, they have the ones that come in blue and then the liqueurs that he just came out with that kind of have look like a cough um, look like a rum bottle or look like a liqueur bottle however you want to say it so this is the presentation of it I love it I would give it a 10 out of 10 when it comes to um, the presentation of this bottle now when it comes to the notes guys this particular fragrance it has rum it has coffee it has cyanide which is actually just bitter almonds or bitter nuts it has dark chocolate and then it has a little bit of caramel in it I think as well this definitely in my opinion comes off very masculine in the first spray that's what I get initially but I'm telling you guys the magic is in the dry down for this when this baby dries down it gives you that rum so it gives you that sweetness of the alcohol but then mixed in with the caramel and the dark chocolate to me this is considered a perfection when it comes to a gourmand scent one thing is just simply dish um dishes it's simply delicious it is very dark it's very boozy and sweet so if you're a person that doesn't really like those characteristics or you're more of a floral or like a tropical person this is not for you because this can go either way unisex all the way just depends on the type of woman that you are if you can pull this off then you're great i like darker scents you know i like something that's sexy and you know going out things like that so for me one thing i got in this was the rum that's what I got initially from it. Of course, I'm a coffee lover, so I have other fragrances that have coffee in them, but I don't have too many fragrances that have bitter almonds in them. So that was a, you know, a new take on something that I haven't really experienced within a fragrance. You could definitely say this is a perfect gourmand scent for anyone that is looking for that. In my opinion, that's what I think of this. So when it dries down like I said it gives you that sweetness of the caramel but when you first initially spray it all you're going to get honestly is the coffee but I love that in a sense because when I first sprayed it guys I couldn't put my finger on it I actually had to go and see what it was that was in this fragrance and then when I figured out all the mixtures and how the booziness comes into play with that dark chocolate and it goes into play with the rum 
it is very sweet it is very boozy so if you like a fragrance like this i would definitely recommend you going out and getting it also on facebook and then other places where people sell fragrances they can give you a decant a small size so that you can try it and then sometimes they give it to you for free sometimes it's like 12 to 15 dollars but that's worth it when it comes to this fragrance it is a bit pricey i think i paid 245 for this one but that's what you're going to kind of get when you're going into a niche house so i didn't mind paying for because i already did my research and saved up for it in the end the rating of this fragrance okay guys it has amazing notes it has a great um presentation or appearance the only thing that lacks for me is just the performance in it i'm going to be honest with you i have to touch this up a lot this to me is only a night scent wouldn't wear this in the in the daytime at all way too powerful way too cloggy if you would wear it in the daytime in my opinion only for cool weather only for um those cooler months but like i was saying the performance of it isn't too much of a great thing it can last me on my skin about four hours so i do have to touch up a lot that is the only thing that i would say is more disappointing with this fragrance but i will say the projection of it when you initially spray it a lot of people are going to give you compliments this is definitely that so i would recommend if you're looking for something in your collection that is different from anything else yes but when it comes to performance i will be honest with you on my skin it doesn't perform unless i put some type of oil over um not over when i put some type of oil underneath of it and then spray it it definitely will give it a more of a lasting power but then after about you know that i will give it about five to six hours and then it becomes a skin scent for me so let me let you guys know would i recommend this fragrance yes to a person who is into gourmand boozy rum scents if you are not then i would not recommend this to you but definitely go get your um nose on this at any Saks um store i'm not sure if neiman marcus does have it or bloomingdale's but i know Saks fifth avenue does have this particular fragrance and if you're looking for something different that is a gourmand please go get it by killian is a great niche house they have a lot of different fragrances you can try so even if you're not into this one they probably will have something that you like this is my third one from um by killian i have love don't be shy and i also have woman in gold and i'm looking to actually get one more that is new to his collection so if you guys have this particular fragrance, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of it? Do you like it? How does it perform on you as well? If you like the content I gave today, guys, please don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I would love to add you to the Style of Sense family. You can follow me over on Instagram where we talk about fragrance all day, every day. And until the next video, guys, bye.